Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to develop ladder logic from Boolean expression. So let's look at the example first. Y is equal to A naught B plus C D and Y is equal to A B C plus D E into E F naught. So we will start with the first one that is Y is equal to A naught B plus C D. So, for input A, we will use normally close contact and for input B, C and D, we will use normally open contacts. So, for A as normally close contact and B for B as normally open contact, we will connect these in series with each other. And C and D as normally open contacts will be connected in series with each other, but in parallel with A not B. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder logic for this Boolean expression. So this is the interface of TI portal. I will click on this uh, button, expand button and I will go to PLC tags and then I will go to default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So I will add A, then B. then C, then D, then E, and then F. And then uh, I need to add the output that is Y. So for Y, there will be address that will start with Q. Q 0.0. .0. After that, I will minimize this. And then I will go to program blocks and then main OB. So for the first example, we have only four inputs A, B, C and D. So I will zoom into it like this and then I will insert a normally open contact, sorry, a normally closed contact for A and that will represent A naught and then a normally open contact for B and these two will be connected in series. So we are implementing and logic gate. And it will be B. And then there are two more inputs C and D and that will be connected in series with each other but in parallel with this A not V. So I will open the branch here then I will insert two normally open contacts and then I will close the branch. So this will be C and then another will be D. And then I will insert a coil here for the output that is Y. So I will type as Y and select the Y as output. So for output Y to be on, either A should be off and B should be on or C and D both should be on. So if B is on and also A is on, then the output Y will not turn on. So if B is on, then A should be off, then the output Y will be on. Or if C and D both are on, then output Y will be on. If C or D only, if any one of the two inputs will be on, then the output Y will not turn on. So we'll start the simulation. Click on load and then finish. After that, I will start CPU. Click on OK and then turn the monitoring on and off. And then I will switch to project view here. So I will create a new project, click on create and let's wait for some time.
So we will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And then I will right click here and load project tax. So now we can start the simulation. So when I turn on B, only B, and I will keep B off, then the output Y will be on. And then when I turn on A also, as you can see here, A is true, B is true, but the output Y is false. So if B is turned on and B should be off, then only output Y will be on. So instead of A and B, we can use C and D. When I turn on C, Y will remain off. And when I turn on D also, when I turn on C and D, output Y becomes on. And if I turn on D only and keep C off, then the output Y will not turn on. So for output Y to be on, either C and D both should be on or only B should be on, but A should be off. And now let's move to another example. That is y is equal to a, b, c plus d e into e, f naught. So for inputs a, b, c, d and e, we will use normally open contacts. And for f naught, for the input e, we will use normally closed contact. So a, b, c will be connected in series and then d, e and e will be connected in series but will be connected in parallel with ABC and then E as normally open contact and F naught as normally closed contact will be connected in series with each other as well as with ABC plus DA. So let's move to TI portal. So here we will insert three normally open contacts for A, B and C. So it will be A then B and then C. And then I will open the branch here. And then I will uh, insert two normally open contacts for D and E. So this will be D. And then it will be E. And then I will connect it like this. And then here I will insert one more normally open contact for E and a normally closed contact for F and a coil. So this will be E and it will be F. And it, this will be Y. So for output Y to be on, E should be on. So here this E can be removed. So I can delete it here. So for output Y to be on, either A, B, C, all the three should be on or only D should be on. With that, E should be on and F should be off. So simply either A, B, C, E should be on and F should be off or simply D should be on and F should be off. So let's start the simulation. I will start the simulation here. Start search. Load. Once again load. And then finish. After that, I will start CPU. And then I will start monitoring and switch to project view. I will create a new project here. Let's wait for it.
we'll go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And then I will right click here and load project tags. Now we are ready to start the simulation. So as you can see here, when I turn on A, then B and C and E, the output Y becomes on. And when I turn on F, the output Y becomes false. So instead of A, B and C, I can simply use D. I will turn on D and also E. So in this case also the output Y turns on. And when I turn on F, the output Y becomes off because this F has normally closed contact. In true state, it will not allow current to flow through it. As a result, this F will turn off output Y. So for output Y to be on, F should be off. And then we have a choice either A, B, C and E should be on or only D and E should be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.